Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. We got some Baniology today. I bought a bunch of stuff and I bought it to give away. If you use Skylene325 when you check out at Baniology, you get 10% off and then I get a commission. And then I use that and I purchase things to show you and to give away. They don't send me anything for free. They actually did send me the 13 days of uh, Halloween advent calendar, which I'm very appreciative. Um, but they normally they don't send me anything to share or um, I just use my commission and I buy extra so that I can give it away. But these I am not even going to open. I'm going to give both of these away. And I'm also going to be giving away this Harvest Moon and this is like, I don't know. These are toppers. Um, this one is not. This one builds up to opacity, but these do not. These are like toppers. And they're all beautiful. As you can see, that is a dual chrome. It's gold and it's purple and it's green. It's really pretty. This one is um, kind of like an iridescent... Uh, micro glitter with some dual chrome flakies that one also the other one has flakies too and then this one is like a holographic oh burnt orange color maybe and that one is bolt so we're going to check those out i'm going to swatch those for you on swatch sticks again because i'm giving it away um, this Serenity, I'm going to see if it is even close, which I already know it's not, to the original Violet Waves that I love so much. The, I thought this was going to be closer, but I can tell that it's really, mm, probably not. Um, I don't know. I think these are so cute. They're just little sti stickers, little, uh... What are these called? Um, hedgehogs. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't get that out. Uh, I don't know. Just some little stickers I picked up. I thought that, you know, I might give those away too. And then I have two complete sets of um, stamping kits. And I also bought the plates separately so that I could swatch those and check those out. I probably won't do any more swatching today than the polishes. So the stamping kits always come in cute little Maniology canvas bags. And this is um, box number 086. And it has a monocle stamper. And there is a plate and three polishes. And I do have these polishes. Oh, I opened it upside down. I do have these polishes in my collection, and they are really nice. This one is um, Viola, or if you're French, voila. <laughs> I don't know that that's true. Okay. <laughs> um, next, we have a cur um, chrysanthemum. This is a really nice orange polish. It stamped pretty well, if I remember correctly. And then this one is maple. It is gorgeous. And these are just really pretty fall colors anyway. Beautiful. I don't think they would stamp over each other just because of the colors are kind of close. This is more of a pink, uh, burnt orange, and this is a, like a rosy color. This one is kind of purple leaning. I'm not sure how it's going to come across on camera. And this is the plate that comes with it. It is M269. And I really thought this was kind of cute. It's like a little patchwork. And you see it has some different floral patterns on it. And like little patchwork. A little reverse stamping. These are very cute. A little squirrel and some little trees. Kind of like um, goes into Christmas. I am not sure... Um, I mean, maybe that is like a double stamp there, like a layered. It looks like it would match up, but it's not very detailed. I don't know. It is really cute. Oh, it has a deer too. I do really like this plate. I think it's really cute. But that polish set is Autumn Blossom. So, I mean, that might be something that you want to purchase separately. I don't know. I don't know your life. 
what you have, what you're looking for. But that is one um, combination bag. Next up is 093. This one also has a monocle stamper. Yep, that's a monocle. And it has the Night Forest. This set I know is amazing for stamping. And these plates are new. This polish is not, this is, um, this, this grouping is not, um, but it is gorgeous. I love these. And then we have some new plates and these are different sort of plaid plates. This is Argyle that you can layer. I will show you quickly how to do that on just a, like a stamping pad. And then this is some plaids. Um, all these plates are available separately with or without the polish. The polish is available separately or you can get it all in a kit. These three are very gorgeous. They are, this one is very opaque. It will build up. These two will not. These are toppers. So let's check these out really quick. And then I want to compare and, and find out about this um, ultraviolet. I really want to figure that out because I need ultraviolet in the original form. But it was a bundle monster. Okay, there is one coat of that. I mean, it looks kind of red, a uh, rose color when I first put it on, but it is definitely like a burnt orange. And there's two coats. So it will build up in just a couple coats. That first one was kind of thin and the second one I pretty much glommed it on. Very pretty, no texture, beautiful color. Uh, on my nails, I've just got them painted black because I have something else going. <laughs> it is basically a lacquer on the black. It is a stamping polish, a one coat polish, super shiny, beautiful. Love this stuff. All right, we'll take a quick look at um, Mist P120. This one is um, like an iridescent with flakies. And as you see, um, it is a very pretty, like, blue iridescent, kind of cloudy, but it is not opaque, and it will not, I mean, I'm not going to say that. Maybe if you want to put 10 coats on your nails or do the 100 coat challenge, it probably would build up eventually. But this is, I believe, just meant to be a topper. And I think that would be gorgeous over a dark blue or black even. Over this black, it would be really pretty. But I think really over a dark blue would be just gorgeous or a dark purple. And then we have Thunder. This is the dual chrome topper. It is beautiful. Um, the base on it is definitely more clear. The base on on mist is more it kind of makes it kind of cloudy because of the micro glitters in it or uh, I don't know like opalescent base to it. This is definitely more of a clear base, 
but beautiful shift orange gold purple focus and there's two coats you see it's it's really not going to build up but beautiful and that also would be amazing over this black or any like a dark purple any dark color any polish please seal that with a top coat this one is my favorite glisten and glows um just top coat it is a quick dry thick top coat i also really love purple willow apothecary top coat and ribbit stickets has an awesome top coat um but be warned if you're using one this one is scented if you're using a scented top coat don't put it over white or your white will yellow okay i know now what i remembered <laughs> i bought this plate too um this one also hello this one is my plate, um, M254. This plate I could have swore I had, but evidently I've probably given it away and don't remember, but I couldn't find it. So I went ahead and purchased it again. Um, and I'm going to use that to, I think, swatch test these three polishes. So this polish is, whoa, I just dropped my mic. Um, I knocked it over. Serenity 413. So this one is Violet Waves. This one is Ultraviolet. That's the one that I thought was going to be like Violet Waves. I'm begging Maniology to come out with Violet Waves again because I got Ultraviolet. This, I believe, was one of the um, Grim polishes, the Grim Fairy Tale polishes that they came out with. And there were only a couple that I, I really liked as far as stamping, but I loved Violet Waves. I have given those away, but then I went ahead and purchased Violet Waves because I thought it was going to be... I'm sorry. I'm being very confusing again. This is Violet Waves. It's the old Budville Monster Polish that I desperately want them to remake. This is Ultraviolet. This one I thought was going to be close to that one, but it was not. And I'm getting so stopped up. Um, They're... they're in the field over here. I don't know what they're doing with this corn again. But oh my gosh. Please stop. Okay. And this is Serenity. I just received this one. I just got this one. Um, purchased this one. Whatever you want to say. Um, B1, B413. It is like a dupe for this. I mean, it really is pretty dang close. But we're going to check those out. All right, let's start off with Violet Waves. And this one, mm, mm -mm. I love this polish. This one is, you can see, deep, dark, I don't even want to waste it, gorgeous, dark, indigo, purpley, blue. Uh, I love this polish. And there it is stamped. Beautiful, opaque, gorgeous stamping polish. I'm telling you, Maniology, are you listening? I challenge you <laughs> to come up with this color. Again, I know it was Bundle Monster, but I'm pretty sure it's the same. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that, but we need this in our lives. We absolutely need this in our lives. Okay, next up we have Ultraviolet. This one is an older one. This one, I believe, was with the Grim Tails. And you see, that is also a deep, dark purple Not as opaque, also not as dark. Red. 
Serenity, 413. It is also a little lighter. Now, when I um, record, what I'm seeing on my screen here is um, more of a violet, dark purple, blue leaning. What is that color I'm trying to think of? I'll put it across the screen because I'll come up with it later. Um, this one is more of a dark purple. And this one is a little bit violet leaning, not quite the same, but you definitely don't need both of these. So I am going to put this one in a box and give it away. But there are the three. This one is the coveted violet waves that I rarely use anymore because I don't want to run out of it. Ultraviolet. Is serenity I just don't think you need all you don't need both of them but you need one of them because I really do like them if you want one a little just a tad tone lighter more pink purple I guess or light purple and this was a deeper purple and this one is a really dark purple but you can't get this one so you know there's that all right, you guys, so you know I talk way too much and I hear it all the time, but I feel like the stamping I did here to show you how to layer these was just not detailed enough because it's not really gonna help anybody. Um, but I just wanted to show you really quickly me using these plates. These plates are not gonna be given away today. I'm gonna do another video and show you detailed instructions on how to do a layered stamp and um, today I'm just going to give away the set of three polishes that I showed you that I swatched for you the Harvest Moon collection and you may absolutely US and international it is open to and I have wrote a number on the back of the box and it is between 1 and 50 so this is going to be a quick giveaway whoever guesses the correct number first and I will check between uh, the notices I got I get from email and on YouTube to see who commented first. That person will win those three polishes and I will give away these two kits at a different date and I will try to show you how to do that in the next couple days. Um, but I also had the chance to go to St. Louis with my grandson and my daughter and um, to the zoo. So, you know what? Um, yeah, I did that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, stay tuned for a little fun video here at the end of our trip to the zoo we had a good time and thanks so much for joining me you guys and uh, yeah that's it I will make a video of how to do layering a little more detail than I could have done in this video because it just takes too long um yeah that's it thanks so much for joining me you guys Bye. You gonna come get that pumpkin? Oh. What's he doing, bud? What? He's just showing off. That's where they sat. Is he gonna eat that pumpkin? He's sweet. Oh, it's like Penny. Let's go give him hugs, won't we? Hello, Bear. Hello, Bear. Gams is getting scared. Bears What? Bears are scary? Oh, they what? No, not scared me. Yeah. Tried to eat me? Yeah. Is that bear gonna try to eat me? I don't think so. He looks like he wants me to pet him.
you come back like to this panel, it doesn't glare as bad. King of the Turtle! You're on this head. You're silly. Dad appreciates all the pictures I'm sending to him. <laughs> I got. I'm getting pictures. Hey, that's rude and not nice. You slide down and let her get on and take her turn. Let's go look at the. Good job, buddy. Thank you. Oh, this is a. Yeah, you are.